In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six steps with states infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the first option comes, you can see the step one. You can add the title along with the detailed text. And if you have the icon, you can add the icon. And then I've added the shadow effect. And then I've put one stair here, which is going to the step two. You can see here, and this one is going to the step three. So likewise, I've just used some different color combination, the gradient fill then the step four the step five and then the step six and i've created one more slide where i've just changed a uh, background to some uh, background with some effects there and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel powerpoint university and if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light gray background. Then go to insert shapes from the rectangle. Select the second one and you can just increase the height and width to maybe 1.4 the height and width you can see here. And if you want, you can just reduce a little bit the curves and shape outline, make it no outline. And I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D to duplicate it. And I'm going to give some white color here. You can see here and then hold the shift key, reduce the size. You can see here. You can reduce further again, hold the shift key and reduce it and put it exactly in the center you can see here then right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to effects shadows and give some shadow effect which is offset bottom right and if you want you can increase the distance also and for the other blue one i'm going to give some gradient fill select the gradient fill by default there are four i'm going to delete two and then one stop i'm going to select some different colors you can see here maybe kind of orange dark orange and the other one i'm going to select some light orange you can see here so i have given this color combination and then i'm going to add one more rounded corner rectangle again you can if you want you can use it press ctrl d and this one i'm going to give some solid color and maybe i'm going to give a kind of white for the meantime and later on we can change it and then put it exactly on top of this and increase the size you can see here just increase the size and send this to back and here if you want you can give also some gradient fill let me just select the gradient fill and here one point i'm going to give white and the other one i'm going to give some light gray color or somewhat maybe darker and the direction just change something like this and if it is not visible in that case what you can do is you can just select this and you can give the different color combination so that this is clearly visible and to make it more visible you can give some solid outline you can just shape outline and give some you can see here some like this and just go to the outline here and then you can just increase the transparency so to make it somewhat lighter so once this is done i'm going to give a shadow effect for that go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black increase the transparency level maybe 60 percent then go to effects under soft edges increase the size you can see here and then just bring it here and tilt a little bit using this arrow you can see here something like this make it further down and then send this to back so you can see here the shadow effect has been created let me just bring it more down yeah and then you can add the option here insert text and i'm going to just say zero one increase the size give the same color orange increase the size make it bold and any good font of your choice you can select and then i'm just going to put it here in the center and then you can go to insert text box you can add your detail text here again same font i'm going to choose 
century gothic reduce the font size give some gray color you can see here and if you want you can give some uh, the title also so let me just select all of these by pressing ctrl a or you can use the mouse also like this and then just bring it down and i'm going to duplicate by pressing ctrl d and put it th this side here you can see it gives some gap and add it here something like this and then this one i'm going to tilt it the other side and bring it here and this text i'm going to bring the text and this shape i'm going to bring to the left side and then move this also sorry here so this is my option number two now from option number one to option number two i want to create one a stairs for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select one rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill maybe you can give the same color what we have used here and then to make the steps go to insert shapes i'm going to select this uh, right triangle draw a right triangle you can see here and then shape outline make it no outline again give the same color and i'm just going to rotate it like this you can see here and then press ctrl d just add like this three or four or five depending on the requirement then i'm going to select all these things group it you can see here and then i'm just going to put it on top of this and make sure that it is properly aligned also and you can just reduce the size and put it on top of this all right and then select both of this and group it control g if you want you can reduce the size you can see here and just hold the shift key reduce the size and then let me just move this also here a little bit you can see here let me just select all and i bring it here and this staircase i'm going to send this to back it looks something like this so now it's easy for me i'm going to just select this press ctrl d to duplicate if you want you can group it also not a problem so this is my second third stairs or third step you can see here and i'm going to select this press ctrl d so this is my fourth one and i'm going to add one more ctrl d so this is my fifth one you can see here then again i'm going to select this press ctrl d just rotate the other side send this to back again ctrl select this ctrl d so this is going towards this again send this to back and this one is going here again send this to back so you can see here the basic design is ready and control a select all you can just bring it somewhat down and if you can reduce the size you can add more options also and uh, once you have done with the design you can just change the color as per your requirement so select this one and then you can choose any color of your choice one is dark and one is light maybe i can just select this color and for this i can select some light colors so you can see here the darker and lighter and this color also you need to change according to the color which you have selected and then i'm just going to select this maybe i can give some green color combination a dark green uh, with kind of a fluorescent or a light green color you can see here like this and this also i'm going to give a green color so just change the color as per your uh, requirement and make sure that the colors are very important don't uh, mix it with some bad colors so i'm just going to select maybe a red color combination uh, with some light red color combination or kind of a orange you can see here and this one would be again red and then the last one you can give some other color combination maybe a teal and then select the lighter teal color 
so you can see here and let me just change this and to this and then you can select the staircase and choose the color you can go to shape fill maybe you can use eyedropper if your latest version of powerpoint so like this you can use it with the help of a eyedropper otherwise you know that one you can just go and select from this if you don't have this eyedropper and then for this i'm just going to select this and this color so you can see here so the colors has been changed option numbers has been updated now for me before doing the animation let me just select it group it one by one you can see here i can just highlight like this with the help of a mouse Control G to group it again this one group it this also you can group it and then this one also you can group it so close the format background go to the animations enable the animation pane I'm going to select this one either you can give a wipe effect which is from left so it comes something like this and then again for this also I'm going to give a wipe effect or maybe you can give a stretch effect also you can see a stretch click ok stretch maybe from bottom or from left so it comes something like this so if you don't feel this is good you can give a wipe effect also like this so wipe is looking good and then click this one with after previous then again i'm going to select this animation painter click on this you can see here like this it will come and again this one i have to just change the direction again with the help of animation painter you can see here like this simply you can just add the animations so if i play how it looks like you can see here it comes something like this so likewise you can just add the animation to the rest of the options